that was the bell. You're already late. I am your substitute teacher today, Mrs. Crabtree. It's your lucky day. I won substitute teacher of the year last year. Ha. Huh. Not true. Not even close. Today we will use data to determine the range. This is important, so pay attention. The range is the difference between the greatest value and the least value in a set of data. Today you're going to find the range of my first and second period test scores for me. The scores for first period are represented on the stem and leaf plot. A stem and leaf plot is a form of data where each data value is split into a stem and a leaf. Take a closer look. This column is the leaf. The leaf gives the digit in the ones place. This column is the stem. The stem is all the numbers before the ones place. There is just one digit in the stem, so it represents the tens place. The key down here explains that if 7 is the stem and 5 is the leaf, the value is 75. This stem and leaf plot represents the values 75, 76, 76, 82, 84, 90, 92. Remember, to find the range, subtract the greatest value, 92, minus the smallest value, 75. That equals 17. The range for this data is 17. I guess we have to look at the data for period 2 next. The data for period 2 is organized in a table. A table is a way to present information using rows and columns. The columns represent the student's class number and the score. The rows represent the score for each student. I'm sure everyone forgot, so I will tell you again. The range of a set of data can be found by subtracting the greatest value in the set of data minus the least value in the set of data. The greatest value represented in this data is 95. The least value represented is 79. 95 minus 79 equals 16. The range for the set of data is 16. Those chatty children didn't do as terrible as I predicted. After 52 years, I am still one fabulous substitute teacher I guess. Class dismissed.